hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this video and it says lefties woman ask ben shapiro if he's transphobic hmm and you guys i'm excited for this if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about so you've come out against the rioters in Charlottesville and all their violence and bigotry. Yep. Um, the leaders of the Charlottesville rally were empowered by the rhetoric and agenda of Donald Trump and a lot of his associates as they've come out in the Vice documentary and claimed uh, you've not only said controversial things, but you've had a couple of attacks against the trans community, um, transphobic attacks, even your call for the transfer of Palestinians, which I don't know if you've redacted that. Yeah, I redacted so you, that like uh, eight, I, nine I years ago. I just wanted to make yep. sure. I wanted to ask you. No, I, I, <laughs> Just learning about Ben. I no, really, that's, that's, no, that's fine. Here. That's fine. Um, but even with that, do you feel that a lot of your speech could incite the same kind of violence? I mean, um, you heard my speech Kennedy. tonight. Do you feel that my speech could incite violence? Well, <laughs> <laughs> good question I, for a good question. I mean, I mean, I, I mean that seriously. That's that's an honest no, question. I know, I know, I know. You're asking honestly. I feel that it. For me, as an individual, it isn't, but I could see how a lot of your points I really disagreed with. I literally have a list of and that's And that's I fine. I mean, that's you. the good part, right, where um, we disagree and we can have a conversation. I just was wondering in terms of, and what I mean by inciting violence is encouraging the same people who believe in, like, your transphobic beliefs, um, even that, like, homophobia is a sin based on your religious beliefs. Do you believe that because of um, what you say you can encourage a lot of people to? act on those beliefs. So I have, I have a very strong standard with regard to incitement, and I'm very consistent about this. If I'm not telling somebody to commit violence, I'm not inciting them to violence. I've held the standard for Barack Obama when he was saying anti-police things, and then somebody went and shot up some police officers in Dallas. I said, that's not Barack Obama's fault. When a Bernie Sanders supporter went exactly. and shot up a congressional baseball mm -hmm. game, I said, that's not Bernie Sanders' fault because Bernie Sanders wasn't calling for that. Political debate requires that you talk to people and people take your words as what they mean, not as an excuse to go and do violence. I've never called for yeah. violence, nor would I. As far as the idea that my words are some sort of attack, a violent attack, for example, on folks who are transgender, my I'm view, not I, I know, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm responding to the people who are not you who might say that. Okay, okay. so, the, so the, the idea that I am transphobic, for example, this is, this is a bizarre kind of attack in the sense that I don't know that I've ever exhibited phobia of trans people. I'm not afraid of trans people. Well, well transphobia I'm, is more along the but, lines of. <laughs> Disagree, well, prejudice against the trans. So I think that I think that you, I, I actually I actually think that your first characterization was right. I think that transphobia is really disagreement with the basic principle that the trans community is trying to purvey, which is that people's sex is malleable, that people can move from male hmm. to female, and that it is my job objectively to now call them the name they wish to be called and to teach my children that men can be women and women can be men. I fundamentally disagree with that point. Now, with that said, exactly. is everybody in the United States entitled to the same rights? Of course, but your right does not extend to forcing me to call you what you want me to call you. That's not the way this works. That violates my freedom of speech. So in interpersonal relationships, if I were out to dinner with a trans person, would I make a point of noting their proper biological sex? No, because that would be impolite. When I'm talking about the general principle of is a man a woman or is a woman a man, the answer is I will say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman and a he is a he and a she is a she. And if I'm in a public debate with somebody, I will say the same thing. Yes, I agree with that. As far so mm -hmm. as I, I do want to clarify that when I meant I wasn't trying to say disagreement, I was relating it to the same definition of homophobia, which is prejudice, or prejudice, or I tried to say discrimination. Right. So I think that again, the homophobia. There are there are some people who actively the there are some people who actively community. want to do violence to people who are gay. Right. I mean, those people are not me or anybody yeah. that I agree with. Obviously, I've never at any point in my entire career ever advocated violence. God forbid, mm -hmm. against anybody in a civilized society. That's not something that I believe in, um, and mm -hmm. I think it's evil. As far as the as far as I, I think again. Your original definition of transphobia actually is better applied here as well. I think it's disagreement with certain principles that the homosexual community was, wishes to what espouse. What I was saying was that's not what I was. I was saying I know, saying and, I, and, I'm, and I'm saying, saying and, and I'm saying, and I'm saying that I agree with your original definition and not your and not your definition. So the so the definition it, that you well, made. No, I'm not saying it's mine. It's one that I like Googled that I found. Right. So and I think that definition is wrong, and I think that the one that you Freudian um, slipped was right. Is what so I'm saying. So I'm saying based on like. 
the institution of, I'm, I don't want to say the institution of Google because that's an extremely general thing to say, but in terms of as soon as you right. uh, search transphobia, homophobia, this is what comes uh, right. up. And I Do think you feel like even though you're disagreeing with, transphobia, with, with the trans community, which I believe we all have our own disagreements, I'm asking, do you feel that the fact that with your disagreement you're inherently through the institutions that have provided these definitions, discriminating against trans community. And I'm thus, saying, I, so I, I'm saying, thus I, encouraging so, other people right. to so, follow. So I know here's that's what, a long so, question, but right. I had to that's encapsulate a lot of. So things. here's what I'm saying. I disagree. Mm -hmm. with either either their definition is wrong or it's overly broad in its application. Okay. So if the idea is that if I say a man is a man and a woman is a woman is inherently transphobic, mm -hmm. that's not discrimination. That's disagreement. Mm -hmm. If they say that's discrimination, they're overly applying well, I, their well, own. Well, I think when you say like they're mentally ill. Like that. Well, gives off I have that. said, and I will continue to maintain, mm -hmm. that gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder, whichever DSM you choose to use, is a mental illness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, and that's a period. Mm -hmm. And that, and again, and again, mm -hmm. the, God forbid that it should be said with any animus, because this is not said with animus. When people are suffering, these are clearly folks who are suffering. When people are suffering, you shouldn't be saying stuff with animus. I'm not saying that as a got you to people who are transgender. The point that I'm making is that when a society begins treating folks who have mental illness as though they are representing an objective reality, they are doing no service to the people who actually suffer from a mental illness. My grandfather suffered from schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia. He was institutionalized. If the doctors had said to him, Nate, you're fine. We believe that the radio is actually talking to you. That is not a service to him. That would that have been terrible for him. Mm -hmm. right? They put him in an institution, they gave him lithium, and it helped. Now, I'm not saying there's even a great solution for folks who have gender identity disorder or gender dysphoria, because the solutions that I've seen, including transgender surgery, are not intensely effective from all the studies that I've seen. It's a tragic, tragic situation. But the solution is not to redefine as a society what sex means along anti-biological lines. As far as the homophobia point, it's my own religious belief about the sinful nature of particular people's behavior should have no impact on how you act in, the, in a free country or, or how you think. It's a free country. Do what the hell you want. Right? There's religious ben, which is right. what I think is sinful, which is Jews who violate Sabbath, mm -hmm. right? Jews who eat shellfish, right? There's a lot of things that we think are sinful in right. Judaism, right? And then there's the stuff where do what you want because it's a free country. I think people do a lot of sinful stuff all the time, and I'm not calling them on it. Right? I think the people who are living together outside of marriage are sinning according to my traditional religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's a free country. Do what you want. Mm -hmm. So when people say homophobia, I think what they are doing is saying you disagree with me. I've never called for violence, and not only that, I'm in favor of legalization of same-sex marriage in the sense I want the government completely out of marriage, right? I don't want the government in the marriage business at all. So, so it's very... So the, uh, I think that what, what bothers me is when folks assume that a disagreement means that they can ascribe animus, anger, hatred, mm -hmm. wish for violence to mm -hmm. me. Which is what a lot of the Charlottesville writers were doing. Was well, it, the, the Charlottesville writers were garbage people. I mean, I did, yeah. I did two full episodes well, on I how know. garbage I mean, the Charlottesville I was, writers, yeah. writers I mean, were. this has been really great, actually, to have this yeah. dialogue. But I think what... I was the number one target of the alt-right in 2016, according no, to the Anti-Defamation League. Yeah, I, I, I looked you up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. But what I... What I <laughs> and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be sassy, <laughs> but um, what I really wanted to understand was because you have such a large platform, I mean, even through Twitter, through social media, through your website, through your... Um, just all your work, like, do you not claim? I don't know of any particular cases where someone has said Ben Shapiro told me to literally go murder a trans person or someone who. And if they did, something. they would be lying. But, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to like ask you about. Right. And if they the did, they would be lying. And I would think that, and again, anybody who commits acts of violence or evil in my name is a violent, evil person. Okay. And I hope that's standard for everyone. But thank, yeah. I really appreciate you coming out. Thank it really you. means a lot to me. Thank you. Mm. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Ben Shapiro and uh, the lady that was kind of interviewing him. She seems very calm and very respectful, well collected. I love Ben Shapiro's stance on what he thinks and what people can make him do, no matter the pressure from society. Because you cannot forcefully ask me to accept what I feel is wrong in my eyes one thing i believe is that no matter what notion or whatever ideology you have in your head 
you can't force me to accept it what i see or feel that such a thing is wrong in my own perspective no one should force me and calling someone transphobic because they do not accept your transitioning from a man to a woman or vice versa is totally unacceptable because I don't think everyone should conform to whatever notion you have in your head about your gender and i love how ben shapiro stood his ground and still corrected the lady about what he said in the past and still maintaining his stance on whatever it is that he has already said before i love it for ben shapiro and i love the fact that ben shapiro is a very straightforward guy and he doesn't mince words just to pass across his message this was very beautiful to watch and this is the calmest debate i have ever watched so far let me know your thoughts on this one what are your thoughts do you think that i should conform to another person's belief because the society wants me to or i'll be labeled transphobic if i don't conform to whatever notion they have in their head about their sexuality drop your comment in the comment section and i really had fun reacting to this video if you guys totally enjoyed watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys